This is Lee Schoquist with uh, Nude Hippo, your resident hippo critic here, and I'm out at the Gateway Theater, 5216 West Lawrence, to talk with Dennis here about Silent Summer 2003. Dennis, uh, tell me a little bit about the Gateway. It's a venue that a lot of people may not know about her watching the show, so what, what can we say about it? Sure. Um, the Gateway is uh, approaching its 75th anniversary in a couple of years. It was the first theater in Chicago that was built and designed for sound movies. Ironically enough, we're having the Silent Film Festival here, but it was built by the prolific architects Rap and Rap for the far-flung Balvin and Katz theater chain in 1930. Silent films, as, as you might have seen on TV, usually are accompanied by an out-of-tube piano at the wrong speed. Over here, we have the ambience of the Gateway Theater, a beautiful movie palace with the curtains flying open on the title. We have the grand pipe organ coming up out of the organ pit. Yeah, and that's something uh, that uh, a lot of people don't know, probably when they think about a, a silent film, and those of us who, who are in the film community who know a little bit about the way um, especially restored silent films are projected and there's always like an accompaniment from an organist and is that's a tradition with silent films that it goes way back to the dawn of, of filmmaking right they were the workhouse of the silent film company in the 20s we have uh, an authentic pipe organ here and we have a pipe organist who knows how to accompany a silent film and not just play music during a silent film there's a whole art to that Mark Noller. Mark is the theater organist who's accompanying the uh, silent film series here. Uh, Mark, tell us a little bit about uh, how long you've been doing this for and what it is to accompany a film. How does all of that work? In a nutshell, it's mostly improvisation and you have to keep your eyes on the screen constantly. I also am Chicago's only theater organist left playing consistently on weekends at the Music Box Theater in Chicago. This idea is kind of fascinating to me that you would um, improvise throughout an entire feature length film. Explain a little bit about that. Prior to the screening of the film I watch it three times. Once with the music that could be on the film, once with no music, and then if I have a video available I watch it and fast forward for continuity and then I take what's there and then I go from that. We down here for Phantom of the Opera a couple months ago, basically bringing the whole family down, grandparents, father, myself, and my son, to do like a fourth generation uh, to start seeing some of the, of the history of uh, previous filmmaking. Dennis, uh, let's talk about the series this summer. What's on the bill? Well, we've got a great cross-section of films, starting tonight with The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Next week we have the restored version of The Lost World, 30-piece orchestra and or international photo play organist Dennis James. We're following up with a rare Colleen Moore film called Twinkle Toes, Clara Bow and Hula, filmed live in the Hawaiian Islands. And we're finishing up with Diary of a Lost Girl. Wow, that sounds like a great bill. Now, we see a lot of people out here tonight for the opening night. We noticed one thing, that our audiences are getting younger and younger all the time. But what about you? Are you going to enjoy the movie tonight? <laughs> I'm going to take that as a yes. Well, last week's audience raised an age from, we think, 6 to 86. So it's a real eclectic group of people. Have you seen it before? No, I'm 97. Many years ago, at the original screening, many years ago, maybe, huh? I don't yeah. remember. Could be, it could be, because I'm 97. <laughs> so Dennis, how can people find out more about this festival? Well, you can check out our website at silentfilmchicago.com or call 773-205-7372.